Like, and there's so many on the uh, the rock. Um. Hello, hello, players. It's your boy Shadow Wolf here, coming at you with another video. Um, because I can't make any PS4 videos while I'm gone, gaming videos, I thought that as a tribute to my subscribers, so I'm uploading something. I'm going to do the day one of free agency uh, review. I'm just going to go over some of the things that have happened the past week. Oh my god, who Not the hell cares? The, the first thing I want to discuss is that um, the Wolves traded Ricky Rubio for a 2018 protected first round pick. And when I first saw of that trade, I was like, why, dude? Because Ricky Rubio can legit, he would be like the perfect piece, like... Butler, great scorer, Wiggins, great scorer, Towns, great scorer. Like, they don't need another scoring point guard. There's so many on the market. So when they got rid of Rubio, I was a bit upset, but I knew that they had another point guard in mind. And it's pretty obvious that Tom Thibodeau has never really liked Ricky Rubio since taking the job. I don't know why. He plays good defense. I mean, maybe he's just not the point guard that Tibbs looks for. But, I mean... So then what they did was they signed Jeff Teague to a three-year, $57 million deal, I think. And that's all right. Jeff Teague's a very... He's underrated, in my opinion. He's he's a former All-Star, I'm fairly sure, of the Hawks. I mean, like, that, that was great. But um, paying $57 million for three years for him, that's going to take up a lot of cap space. And what the Wolves really needed was some depth. Like, maybe they should have kept Rubio... I mean, he's still worth a lot. Or if you waved Rubio, just pick up like a smaller point guard with not so much cap that could distribute the ball and then go after some more key role players. Like, you weren't going to get Andre Iguodala because he's chasing like a max deal. There's no way. Otherwise, he'd just stay in Golden State. But you know what I mean? Some really, really key role players. But they're still front runners for like Paul Millsap and other. Like, it's, it's crazy, the Wolves. So it's not such a bad thing. Um, another thing that's interesting is yesterday, Gordon Hayward opted out of his contract, so it's very likely he's going to be leaving Utah, might go to Boston, might go somewhere else. There's rumors he might go to the Miami Heat. I'm not sure about that, but we'll, I'll keep you updated on that on Twitter or whatever. And also Kevin Durant opted out of his contract. Now, I'm assuming that this is so he can sign a more longer-term deal. He only had two years, so I think he's opting out of his contract to sign a long-term deal. Expect him to go for five years with a fifth-year option. Um, I'm fairly sure that's the way he's going to go. So that's really interesting. So the big news that everyone talks about, which everyone knows, is that Paul George got traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Victor Oladipo and a slice of pizza. Okay, with some bonus, but I mean, what's the difference? Um, yeah, dude, that's crazy. Uh, there's lots of jokes that um the Thunder robbed Indiana, but I seriously think that's true. Like, I'm going to tweet Larry Bird and ask, oh, he doesn't have Twitter, but I'm going to message Larry Bird and find out what he's smoking up in Indiana because I need to get my hands on some of that shit. Like, honestly, this trade is ridiculous. I would have liked to see a big man go to the Thunder, um, like a Blake Griffin or a Paul Millsap. I think that would complement Westbrook good, but they've got Stephen Adams to hang on to. And I think Paul George is actually a very good fit. He's, well, he's like a, top three two-way player in the league you can say that easy um it's probably going to be a very good fit I'm excited the only thing about this is Paul George has expressed that he wants to show interest in signing with the Lakers um in one year so it's sort of like a Paul George rental and Victor Oladipo has a huge number of potential so that's the only sus thing about this trade but if they can convince Paul George to stay a bit longer term then that that is actually really big that is huge um the next thing is Blake Griffin stays in LA. He signs a five-year, $173 million deal. Now, this to me was a big, big surprise. First thing was Chris Paul getting traded. I don't know why they would trade away Chris Paul if Blake Griffin showed interest to stay. I know Chris Paul would probably walk in a bit. He wasn't loving it there. Doc Rivers seemed pretty happy, but I honestly don't understand that. Also, like, there's been lots of tension between Blake and the Clippers staff. So... It's not that I'm surprised that Blake wanted the money to stay in LA. That doesn't surprise me. It's more the fact that LA would be willing to pay him $173 million for five years. That's what surprises me. But um, um, it's a surprise. It's a pleasant surprise. I don't mind that. Um, I, liked, I would have liked to see Blake go somewhere else. But I mean, 
you have to have something in LA. So what else have they got? Anyways, um, another one is that Curry got paid $200 million to stay for five years. Now, assuming Durant's going to get paid something similar, there's no way the Warriors are going to be able to keep Andre Iguodala. And I don't know where Thompson's going the next couple of years, but if they're getting paid like this, Thompson's going to walk as well. There's rumors that Thompson was going to walk in a couple of years anyways, but this is absolutely crazy amounts. I don't know why Curry and Durant need this much. You could easily take a pay cut to friggin... You have so much endorsement deals. 200 mil five years is unheard of. Yeah, it's it's just a crazy amount. And I would have liked him to take a little less. Not not to say he's not worth the money. He's a huge draw. I get that. I know how business works. But to build that Warriors team, they're going to have to lose a few key pieces if he wants that much. So that was a bit interesting. Shut up! Rondo and Isaiah Cannon got waived by the Bulls, so Rondo has become a free agent. So that just adds another point guard to the already stacked point guard market, um, which included Drew Holiday, except he recently signed a $126 million contract for five years with the Pelicans. That's an extension. I hate that. I think that... I think that that's a very bad idea. I don't think that DeMarcus Cousins is actually going to stay in New Orleans. I, I think he's going to go somewhere else. And I really don't like that signing. Not to say that Drew Holiday is not good. Like, I remember him with the Sixers. He, he's a very good player. Like, he's, he has a lot of potential. But $126 million. Uh oh, Ray It's like alert. $25 and a, half alert, and a quarter a year. He's getting paid $25 million a year. That's you, you can't do that. Yeah, There's so many good point guards. He should not be getting a max deal. But that's, I guess that's it. Um, those are my updates, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry I haven't been uploading gameplay, as I said, but I'm overseas for a month. I'm trying to get out to you as much content as I possibly can while I'm away. I love you so much, guys. Shut up! Peace.